Challenge Day 1v1 Ashes of Typhon Blue Side. We've got Potty 2 Hotty, also known as Harry Potter, and about a thousand other names, playing an Eldar Farseer support commander fights melee. Up against Norni on the red side as a war boss. Good at disruption, buffing, and damage. Bashes through cover, fights melee. Three VPs up for grabs. Northwest is natural for Norni. Southwest natural for Potter and an Eastern VP. Potter gets some Banshees on the field, light melee unit with power weapons. So these double shooters will want to get big shooters pretty quickly to try and suppress them. Looks like the Farseer is going to go and harass Norni's natural or maybe just decap it because these sluggers are busy elsewhere. War boss might be going to harass himself. Yes, he's going to leave that VP for those shooters. Support structure complete. Guardians will finish the cap before he gets there though. Now they're going after the power and they're going to run into a big stompy war boss. Going to lose at least one model here you would think. Potter trying to micro them away, doesn't want to retreat past the war boss. But there's a kill, cutlass to the forehead and thrown aside. Free booters DLC recolored, and the Farseer caps on his natural and takes out two sluggers. The sluggers did finish this cap though. And Norni has triple shooters, so Potter could get double shurikens to control the shooters or rangers to constantly bleed them, or perhaps one of each. Warboss going off these guardians again. And they get retreated and are going to lose a member on retreat. There we go. Retreating units take 30% more damage from melee. And another sink kill. And shooters are working on power already. And they have their big shooter. Only one of the squads so far. And Potter has rangers on the field. Sniper infantry. Very nice burst damage from range. Can also disrupt with kinetic shot. And we might see it here on this war boss. Best used versus melee units on their way in, and there it is. Warboss might be forced off here, but we have double shooters shooting up his power, and he lost at least one generator there. Potter immediately replacing him. And we will probably see double rangers, very rare you see rangers into shuriken, it's usually the other way around. 493-446, it's a 2-1 to one for Norni. Potter has an early lead after taking Norni's natural at the beginning. Sluggers abandon this cap. I'm not sure if Potter has seen all three shooters yet. He must have, yes. Engagement in the middle here where this power point is. You see Potter using the rangers at their maximum range to give them a maximum advantage. Banshees trying to get into melee but are suppressed and forced off. There looks like a ghost helm on the Farseer, yes. So she can use Mind War to suppress infantry now and there it is suppressing those shooters and taking out a model and she takes out another inner sink kill retreats and we'll get away fine rangers bleeding units with each shot against shooters and sluggers certainly Generator operational. war boss does he have any war gear no nope. 458446 and sluggers are going after Potter's natural. Well, they might engage these guardians if they spot them. Yes, here they go. And guardians need to retreat through. And don't lose a model. Yes, they do. And Banshees are trying to get into melee with these double shooters here. Suppressed down to three models. They get into melee. Shooters turn and take out another. And Banshees of Force Off did stop the harassment of this power though. And now Potter has double rangers. So these shooters are going to get bled like crazy. He already forced off one of the squads. Bang. Other ranger squad moving in though. And shooters run away. Finally. Look at the map control though. All red. Potter hasn't taken this eastern edge power yet. Guardians chase off sluggers who didn't decap. 
God, his mic goes straight for Norny's natural now. Fast here, back of base, healing up. Rangers in the middle shooting at the war boss who can't get close enough. Might get his. Oh, he does have it. Angry bits. Now I'm angry, allows him to charge in. Also has spiky armor, which would be very useful if he gets into melee with banshees. And she's going to the east side though to cap, and they're going to get a 2 to 1 for Potter perhaps. 3 9 8, 4 4 6. Rangers trying to cap that central power. And there's now I'm angry, charging into the Rangers, and has caught them here. He's going to get a melee hit in retreat. No, goes off the Guardians. There's a special attack which misses. Fast here, will she engage? There she goes. Rangers taking shots on a nice special attack, and the Rangers knock down their own Fast here. Aiming what's that suppresses the Guardians. Here come Sluggers, and Fast here runs away. Rangers just kite away. Might need to retreat though. Yes, they're now in retreat. Can the Warboss get a hit? No. He's going to try and decap what is getting shot by the other Ranger squad. And here come Banshees. One more shot and he might be forced off. There's a connect shot knocking him off the cap and he does run. And triple shooters now are going to be hitting this power which is full. Meanwhile at Potter's Natural we have Sluggers versus Banshees. But the Sluggers have Ard Boys. One of the War Boss's global buffs. And the Banshees are forced off. Triple shooters getting bled by these double rangers. But they're determined to take out this power. And there they go, took out all the generators and are now working on a node again which is being rebuilt. 355, 446, Potter goes tier 2 first. And there's Mind War again, taking out a model and forcing shooters off. Just about got out of there. A lot of reinforcing for Norni to do. But he did really harass Potter's power. Guardians retaking Potter's natural. Center power uncapped. This power still uncapped. Looks like Banshees are heading there now. 319446. Norni, not that far behind going tier 2. Has big shooter of all three shooter boy squads. Banshees don't have their aspect yet. Double Rangers need to move. Here comes the war boss. Snake shot knocks him back and probably another one here there it is excellent range of use here come guardians chased by sluggers who might ignore them and go for potter's natural again looks like they are here's the fast here uses mind war on the war boss to suppress him and here come banshees and still has those double rangers and war bosses getting pretty low on health and retreats Triple shooters will not have a war boss backing them up. There's an energy shield going down from these guardians. Have their battle equipment then. Farseer puts guide on them and they're gonna go and harass these sluggers. And look at the damage they do. It wasn't even a second of shooting, and the sluggers need to retreat or they lose a model. Guardians can retake. Triple shooters all with their knob leaders. Boosting DPS and making them a bit more survivable also makes them into a detector unit. Rangers though behind that shield taking shots and there's a webway gate to infiltrate this stuff. Though the shooters will spot it and one of the shooter boy squads is getting very low but Mind War shot up by Rangers and might lose this knob leader if these Rangers get a couple of shots and there's one. Six hit points, one more Ranger shot and there they go. Ouch. How quickly did that squad go down? Rangers still getting shots in Farseer chasing. She is now level 3, has Armor of Fortune. Nice special attack, but is eventually forced off. Does decent enough damage with her default weapon. Here's a war truck for Nordi. Potter perhaps expecting it as a Bright Lance out. Very nice anti vehicle DPS, but doesn't snare vehicles like Lazcanners do. Not sure what Noni is trying to do here. Doesn't look like there's anything in the water. Where are the sluggers, in fact? 
They are taking Nornie's natural back and they have their knob leader. Shooters again harassing Potter's power. Here comes the fastest. She might get her singing spear and she does. So unless this war truck drives the hell away, it's gonna go down. And here come Banshees. You have to X up now, and she has her spear which does melee heavy, as does the fastest singing spear. Effective against all targets, and the war truck goes down to a bright lance hit. And I'm not sure what Nornie was trying to do. Just harass this stuff so the shooters can take out the power packs. Here comes the war boss, has his power claw, but he's going to die here. And there he goes, Farsi up, levels to four, Banshee's level to two. Here comes Sluggers now, with their knob leader or a very nice melee unit. There goes the Ardwise on them. There's Swamp them to break the suppression, and there's use your choppers. These are some fearsome sluggers right now. Chasing off the bright lights. Now move into the Banshees. And force them off. Warboss really has some spectacular buffs. And sluggers run away. Knob leader does go down. And in fact gets away with just one model. Norni now has a weird boy on the way. Looking quite thin. Lost the war truck. Lost a shooter boy squad does have a weird boy on the field though. Sub commander for orcs, lots of damaging and disruptive spells. Pretty much the counter for blobs of infantry. Not sure if that was the best choice. Will be outranged by the rangers. Banshees will just rush him. I suppose he can use warp vomit to stun. But I don't know. Perhaps would have gone for another slugger squad. Upgraded them with a knob leader and just ran them in. Here come Banshees chasing and catching up with these shooters. Shooters get away. There's Warp Vomit which misses everything. Warp Boss is still dead. Potter now using the Bright Lance to hit power. Hard Antique Vehicle Unit can't really do much to infantry so this is pretty much all it's good for right now. Sluggers and shooters going off the Potter's natural looks like. Banshees take the east and it's 268385 2 to 1 for Potter. Weird Boy forced off, got a health hit down from 1000 to 850 in 3.19. So you need to be a bit more careful with him. And I think Norney's going to lose this power completely. Potter losing his natural though. Here come Guardians to defend. They have their Warlock leader. Double Rangers. Ouch. Here come Sluggers though. Don't have their Knob leader anymore. Do have their Burners. Knob leader being purchased now. There's Kinetic Shot. And they're taking a lot of damage moving in there. But they do catch up with the Rangers and get their Knob leader. And now go after the Guardians. And this is a dead Farseer surely. No, saved by Norni's weird boy there. Very orky. And absolutely gets away. Level 5 had fortune on her. Or maybe not. Sluggers catching her in retreat. And she goes down. Sluggers level to 2. When you start leveling Sluggers they become pretty powerful. Very cheap to reinforce. Quick. And not bad in melee. Now a 2 to 1 for Norni. Shooter Boy is guarding Norni's, sorry, Potter's natural. 240, 372. But look at this. Norni has completely lost all of his power. He will only have plus 10 income, which is what you start with. Warboss chases off the Bright Lance. And we have a Wraith Lord on the field for Potter. Walker vehicle for Eldar fights melee. Pretty powerful in combat. Can get a shoulder mounted weapon and it's getting the shuriken cannon. Here comes the war boss. With that power claw will be pretty bad news for this Wraith Lord. Connect shot knocks him down and now is in combat with that Wraith Lord and uses user choppers and odd boys on himself. Potter will want to make him waste that global. 
charges into the rangers now and catches them and they're going to lose at least one new model you'd think bang perhaps another bang but he's and he goes down Wraith Lord's Shuriken Cannon does quite a lot of damage. Shooter Boy's decapping pot as natural. 229, 362. 450, 120, I believe Wraith Lords are. So, pretty big investment for Potter. Could have gone tier 3. Could have got a Seer Council out. Or began to. Save for it. Shooter boys capping the east side and sorry they were sluggers taking a lot of damage from that shuriken cannon. Wraith Lord of course cannot cap as it's a vehicle. Farsia dies. Banshees in amongst the shooters and Widway goes down to range as sloppy from Norni. Kept him in amongst too long. You really need to keep your eye open when you're facing double ranges. Strategic location spotted. It's a double for Norni, gonna be a 2 to 1 and Banshees. No, I don't think they're gonna stand up to this war boss. Already under half health and retreat. Guardians capping east side. Farseer still down. War boss now level 3. Rangers taking shots at the war boss as he moves in. Over 1100 hit points now. There's kinetic shot and they move off. Here comes the Wraith Lord. Backs off again. Banshee's reinforcing 165, 357, 2 to 1 for Potter. Look at this. Norni still doesn't have any power. And it's looking very thin now. Sluggers and double shooters, and that's it. Surely this is a win for Potter. Not sure what the war boss is doing here. Tries to charge away, but it's taking so much damage from that Shuriken Cannon and goes down. Wow. That thing does crazy damage. 165, 338. Sluggers taking the east side. Potter puts down their webway gate here. And Banshees catch the Sluggers, wash out, and they are forced off. Banshees didn't lose a model, but neither did the Sluggers, and now Banshees take the east side. Here come double shooters, they will shoot them up. Rangers get a shot, yes, here comes the Farseer. Suppress her with aiming, what's that? Uses Fortune on herself, and then uses Mind War. She's still moving into combat. Banshees force off the shooters, and here come Sluggers to back up the remaining shooter boy squad. 6-5, 3 and Potter has a double, has decapped him on his natural. Might even be able to take it with his guardians. Warboss moving in, taking a lot of damage, and guardians move off now. Wraithlord engaging him in combat. Meanwhile, east side, Rangers run away, as do Banshees. Farseer also ran away. Warboss forced off there. Guardians can now cap, but they're still moving away. 165285, Norni desperately trying to hang on now, getting some tank busters to deal with that Wraith Lord. Potter goes tier 3. Wraith Lord has nothing to worry about from those shooters. And that Shuriken Cannon is taking out models left and right. Here come Tank Busters. Active with unit for Orcs. And now the Wraith Lord needs to leave. Guardians took Knorn is natural for a 2 to 1. Wraith Lord needs a hand here. Here is the Farseer can suppress the Warp Boss with Mind War. Banshee should go after the tank busters, I suppose. There's angry. Now I'm angry even. Washout used and everything forced off. The war boss is staying in the fight. Is in a bit of trouble here. Banshee's ang singing spear fast here in melee and he's gonna die or is he? 
gets away, I think. Odd boys might have saved him. Guardians forced off, but they did decap that wreck point. Now a triple for Potter. Nonny still has absolutely no power at all. A mistake not to try and recap. And look at the map. Completely blue. Nonny has a wreck point and that is it. And gets another war truck out. But it's desperation right now. Use your choppers on these sluggers. Farseer chasing the war truck. Needs to be careful. Knocked down by the sluggers. Might go down here. That's an Eldritch Storm is it? On that VP. It is. Farseer does go down. Shooter boys survive the Eldritch Storm somehow and can try and cap 165179. Norni barely hanging on here. Potter now has a fire prism on the team on the way. So much early pressure from Norni on Potter's power, but couldn't turn it into a real advantage. Those rangers constantly bleeding the shooters, so the game wasn't as big as it could have been. Wraith Lord taking quite a lot of damage from his tank buses. Guardians repairing. Here come Banshees. War shout a bit too late. Everything got back into the war truck, and the war truck should be able to get away there. Bright Lance has gone down. Sluggers take Potter's natural use, swamp them, but I'm not sure what they're trying to do. There's a grenade from the Guardians. Don't move into melee combat when there's a Wraith Lord standing there. And the Sluggers might go down and do go down. Surely that is it for Nonny. Still hasn't retaken his power. Decaps the east side. And is now capping it. Again, shots of bits though. Here comes the Fire Prism using its focus shot. 128, 152, and Warboss forced off. Shooter boys shooting up Banshees. Got to level 3, these guys. Banshees are level 4, though. Using that Wraith Lord in range stance. Been pretty effective so far. 106, 152. Banshees now go to cap again. There's the spread shot from the Fire Prism. Turns it into a kind of mobile artillery platform with a knockback and AoE damage and it's a 2 to 1 for Potter any time now Noni really hanging in here 98 152 there is the 2 to 1 has another slugger by squad with its knob leader already still refusing to retake his power points war truck almost wiped out in one shot from that fire prism there's time field arm of the Assyrian Forces off the tank busters. Such a great counter to range units in general. And War Truck runs into the Wraith Lord. Huge mistake. War Boss now chasing it. He's just really pissed now. Suppressed by Mind War. And there's the GG from Nordic. And there's the game. Excellent play by Potter. Hanging on through all that early pressure. Double Rangers were awesome, I think. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.